Good day guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I was just going to ride down to the wrist. Uh, just to get my hat clean and just to be on the road again. Um, due to the fact that I didn't, don't get out that much these days. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be alerted whenever I make another upload. So just after this bridge, I'm going to take a left onto a road which is going to take me to a dirt road which is uh, really, which I'm really familiar with and I love riding it because it's so nice and quiet, it's not much um, people down there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. So this was just a small stretch of tarmac which actually lead, lead me up to the little piece of off-road which I did. Another little piece because probably 70% of this ride was done on uh, off-road and gravel roads. So yeah, and one thing that I realized while I was just riding, enjoying the fresh air and also nature, getting out of the box for a, wh a while and you know, just feeling free. Um, I really was amazed by how friendly people were. When you see people, they often wave at you or uh, greet at you, like this dude. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I really think that this was a nice one. But actually, I ended up with a broken bike at the end of at the, at the end of this ride. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Well. So yeah, I just stopped to have a look at the ostriches. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the friendly people along the way so far. And I think there's going to be lots of them still coming. So yeah, to the ostriches. These guys are still young birds. They will be, I don't know, I think a few months from now, they will be bigger adult birds. They will start to lose their color. Uh, now they are darkish brown color, but the f male birds will turn black and the female birds will turn a lighter, very light brown color. That also help them to camouflage when they have to, to breed because they breed inside the bushes and when they're laying on their eggs and stuff, it helps the female bird to be, um, for people not so easily to see her. While she's laying on the eggs and also for the male bird at night while he's laying on the egg, eggs, it helps her not to be seen by people or things that might want to come and take the eggs from them. So I didn't want to entirely give you all the details, but one thing that is really amazing, which I think you guys can go and search is how many chicken eggs fits into one ostrich egg and you guys will be amazed by how many uh, chicken eggs can fit into one ostrich egg but on that note i decided that it's time for me to go 
and to get back on the road again let's go bye birdies bye guys bye bye <laughs>
that moves on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could build a time machine I'd come and get you I can't forget you So it was right around here that I joined back on the tarmac again and I was riding this road for about five about five kilo kilometers yes to the rest where I ended up staying for the night it wasn't planned to be an overnight it was planned to be just like me riding there and getting on some back road back to Otsun again but then again um, I stayed visited a few people and then it ended up raining so then I had to stay the night but the next morning the rain was all gone and I could get back and do some woodwork or actually go to a friend and do some woodwork and then I came back home again So the next morning when I woke up, everything was really cold and iced up and when I got outside, I remembered that I forgot to put the bike away and then I saw that the bike was also all iced up. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty cold though, not really riding season, but yeah, I just left it there so that the ice could get off and as soon as the ice melted away i decided to just pull the bike into some shade and as soon as i were done there i went ahead and gone out and just went ahead and did some woodwork before i had to get back on the road again good morning guys uh as i promised you guys today we're going to do some woodwork do some woodwork turning and I'm planning on making something more similar to this or not just like as ugly as this but <laughs> something similar to this I want to make a lamp stand um, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to complete it today but I would be able to do this part of it and the base part of it today but the other parts I will fix finish off and if you want to see uh, it all finished off you can go down in the link down below I'll leave my Instagram or the link to my Instagram you can go there and you can go see what the end product looked like so we needed to find a piece of wood and here we have our wood all we need to do now is just cut this piece off in this 
all these parts that stuck out too far. We need to cut them off and then we can throw it on the lathe and do some woodwork. that part off we can now start uh, making the marks and then cut it out so that it can fit on the lathe okay so now that we've marked all of these out I think we are ready to go and put it on the lathe So as I said, if you guys want to see the final product, I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description down below. And as soon as I were done, I were back on the road again, riding. And we had pretty much clear skies that day. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed riding and going back again, seeing the kids next to the road, <laughs> motivating me to just give it a little bit of gas because they want to see me go fast um, and do some wheelies but yeah I wasn't really into any of those <laughs> so yeah and I was just like as soon as I got off the the tarmac this was about a also five kilometer stretch of tarmac then I was back on the road on the gravel road again and yeah because I love doing some dirt road. 
But pretty much at the end of this video, I encountered some problems with my bike. Uh, the nuts or the bolts which holds the sprocket, they decided that they just want to all four of them just break off completely. And so now at this point, I'm still wait, sitting waiting for some of those bolts to arrive get my bike fixed again and get it running again but also I'm going to throw out once a set of sprockets and a new chain really soon as well just to get it um, back and have it to ride a lot more again but this was all about 14,000 kilometers which this happened at. I don't know whether it was my fault or whether it's just uh, that that's what was supposed to happen or part of wear and tear. But sure. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a new upload. Also, I'll be looking for you to comment down in the comment box below. Till next time.